what is good what is popping welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be talking about the new decreto di sicurezza approved in italy the new security decree that has been approved by matteo piante dorsi under the georgia meloni government now listen to the video till the end before you will be saying official cracker said this official cracker said that now i said new decreto di sicurezza approved and this new decreto di sicurezza we are going to make be making it part one so as you can see this is part one and we will be bringing part two for you because they have divided this to many parts and we have to do it that way so that you will understand now this decreto di sicurezza is for the ngos and the new migrants who are entering italy currently now they are saying if you are ngo you cannot bring migrant anytime that you want you cannot go and be waiting for a port that they should allow you to disembark the first thing you have to do, if you have migrants on board, you have to uh, alert the authorities of Italy, the Italian authorities, you have to alert them that I have these migrants on board so that they will direct you to a port where you can disembark these migrants. And if you refuse to follow these rules and the regulations, you'll be paying some sanctions. You'll be paying some sanctions and your rescue ship that you are using, all the necessary documents that you are having, you have to have them. If they control you and you don't have the necessary documents, they are going to be giving you multa or they are going to be giving you fine. And this same rescue ship, the operators have to explain to the migrants the possibility of how to apply for international protection and the possibility for you getting documents now these are some information here they are saying uh solo un salvetaggio per avota it's not that you carry migrants on the sea if you get them come and disembark them and go back again obligo di avvisare subito la autorità as i said before you have to alert the italian authorities transito e sosta navi solo per scorsi Porto assegnato raggiunto senza ritardo a bordo e inter richiesta protezioni internazionali, sanzioni ONG eh, fino a 50.000 euro per violazioni. If you go out of the rules and the regulations, if, if you don't follow them or if you go against them, you are going to be, they are going to be giving you multa uh, about 50,000 euros, you understand? Eh, si può arrivare e confisca del mezzo all'arrogazione provvedere il perfetto obbligo di idoneità tecnici as i said before your documents everything need to be well prepared now they have started this new decree on one ngo that is the ocean viking this ocean viking is carrying 113 migrants now they are saying this ocean viking have to go 1700 kilometers to disembark migrants guys incredible and this ngos are saying it will take them four days to reach the safety port that they have given to them and it is ravenna close to bologna guys they have carried these migrants till down to the down and they are carrying them to the top to disembark and pregnant women included minors included babies included but you have to follow because it is a new decreto di sicurezza and if you go out of it they are going to be giving you multa now they said italy migrant rescue ship carrying scores of migrant told to 1700 kilometers away source mediterranean estimated it could take four long days for the 113 rescue migrants on ocean viking to reach the italian port city of ravenna pregnant woman three babies and dozens of unaccompanied minors are on board a private rescue boat carrying 113 migrants saved from the dying in the mediterranean has been granted permission to dock in the italian port of ravenna located some 1700 kilometers away from the current location Migrant rescue organization Source Mediterranean, which operates the Ocean Viking ship, estimated that it will take the vessel about four long days to reach Ravenna. In the northeast corner of Italy, on the Adriatic coast, it tweeted on Tuesday, December 27th, carrying migrants from down there, from south to north of Italy. Guys, it's not easy at all. And this is the other I have for you today. As I said before, new decreto di sicurezza has approved and this is part one. And if any part arrives, we will still give it to you. And if you are watching me on TikTok, please come to Facebook and follow me. Go to YouTube and subscribe. And if you have not followed me yet on YouTube too, on Facebook, please do so. Until we meet again in the next video, please stay safe and stay blessed. Peace out.